hey youtube welcome back to my channel how is everybody doing i literally have anxiety uploading this video because it's been so damn long as you can see it starts with me waking up at 7 30. i did not shower initially because i thought i'd had enough time to go to the gym but i had an impromptu meeting so i ended up taking a quick shower and changing which you will see shortly if you have watched my previous video i had mentioned that i was actually in the middle of moving and oh my god things ended up taking way longer than expected but i'm just glad i'm finally settled and to be honest with y'all these past few months or even years have been such an eye-opening experience for me regarding so many things family friends love life and even work i'm not sure why i feel the need to say this but just know that whatever you're going through right now is temporary i realized that everything ends up working out sometimes even better than you can imagine i had to learn to see things from a different perspective just because you might not get what you want right now like at this very moment and exactly what you're expecting does not mean it's not gonna happen I feel like sometimes we as human beings tend to be so focused on the negative, like what we don't have, that we fail to actually see how blessed we are. Like being alive, being healthy, being loved, that's what matters the most, you know? Growth comes with a lot of discomfort. These challenges you're going through today is what's going to build you up for tomorrow. Learn to be open to change, like adapt, and most importantly, see the positive in every situation, no matter how bad it is. I do believe that if it doesn't happen, no matter how bad you want it, it's because God is protecting you from something that you're probably not seeing right now. I had to learn to enjoy the journey, even though sometimes the bumps can be hella brutal. And without challenges, there's no growth. So yeah, anyways, I'm not really sure why I felt the need to say all of this, but I just hope it helps even if it's just one person out there. Anyways, now that I'm done with my bedroom and fresh out the shower, I'm going to clean a little bit. 95% of the time, I always clean the night before because I just love waking up to a clean place. No dishes in the sink, but I had gone out the night prior, so it didn't happen. <laughs> I found those really, really, really cute glass cups on Amazon and every product to use in this video is listed in the description box down below, by the way, so check it out. And lately, I've been really into iced coffee and I needed some crackers on the side. I'm not much of a breakfast person, so this was enough for me and usually when I need to be very active or productive, I don't like eating too much because it just slows me down. I start getting sleepy and all of that, so no. When I eat, I don't measure my portions. I just eat till I can't no more. So it wasn't the time for that, you know? I'm gonna work for a couple of hours, then change for the gym. Many hours later.
hours later, it was around 8.30, I believe, I met up with my friends for a late lunch and we ended up hanging out way longer than expected. And my battery had died actually before leaving the gym, so I couldn't really record much. And one thing I always do as soon as I get home is sage my place. It's very important to me. So this is what I'm going to do and then hop in the shower. Once I'm in the shower, I'm gonna start with this coconut coffee scrub and wash. This is probably my fifth bottle. Anything coffee, count me in. It smells divine and it's so moisturizing. I use a glove to clean my body. To me, these are way better than actual loofahs. And on days like this, especially when I sweated, have been out and all, I do two or three rounds. So I'm going to wash my body once, then again a second time. And the second time before rinsing it off, I use this anti-cellulite massager. I highly recommend it. It has so many benefits. It improves circulation, reduces cellulites, obviously, and can be applied in or out the shower. Just make sure to use oil. And it feels great, especially after working out. The only thing though that I would say is be careful when applying too much pressure because it makes you bruise. Next step, callus remover, because who wants to deal with dry, cracked feet? Not me. It's big enough and it's a very quick and easy job. Just be careful not to cut yourself because this thing is extremely sharp. Moving on to my favorite part, exfoliating. This exfoliating body polish from Dove has been my favorite for the past two years now. It smells great and your skin feels so, so, so soft after. Last but not least, for my face, I use this oil-free acne wash from um, Neutrogena. My skin right now is going through it because it's that time of the month. It has helped me reduce my acne scars and even my acne in general. It has salicylic acid. So what I like to do, I combine it with this silicone face brush. It's the cutest thing ever. And once I rinse it out, I'm out the shower. All right, let's talk about the leading lady, Lumi, which is Rose Skin Pro's latest IPL hair removal handset. I've been avoiding shaving as much as possible and sometimes I don't really have time to go get waxed. And this device has been a real lifesaver for me. It's pain-free and safe and you can pretty much do it yourself with no help and it can be done in the comfort of your own home. And as you can see this time I'm doing it in the living room while watching a movie. You can pretty much do it and bring it anywhere. And by the way, if you don't know what Lumi does, it features advanced cooling technology with 900,000 flashes, as in almost a million. That's crazy for a 30 year lifespan. Mind blown. <laughs> It works on any body parts. It's very precise and covers enough for you to get the smoothest skin ever. I've been doing um, arms, legs, and armpits, and I believe a full body treatment lasts about 30 minutes. It has six customized intensity levels to choose from and three different speed modes. So you have stamp, glide, and auto. And before using it, I would definitely recommend exfoliating 24 hours before. And what's so cool about it is that it comes with its own exfoliating glove and body lotion for after treatment. And by the way, the aloe coconut body lotion was created with all skin types in mind, from driest to most sensitive. I've actually used it a couple of times and I love the fact that it moisturizes your skin very well, but it's still lightweight, like not heavy at all. Also, always, always, always make sure to be fully dry and not apply anything on skin before using it. I use mine right after showering. This is my eighth treatment and my skin has been so smooth. I don't get any more ingrowns and my hair growth has definitely slowed down and I feel like my hair is definitely thinner now. So I would definitely recommend this. And if you are trying to save some coins, I got you. I have my own discount code, which is Ray Ray or EY. REY for $15 off. 
now that I'm done with that, I'm going to head back to the bathroom and moisturize my skin because I feel very, very dry right now after the treatment. I start with this toner from Good Molecules. I ran out of cotton pads, so I used a cotton ball instead. Then this clarifying lotion from Pixie. As you can see, I've been using it like every day. And do not forget the neck. That's very important. Then last but not least for the face, this anti-aging night rewind serum from spoiled child moving on to body i've been obsessing over this navia coconut butter my skin loves it so 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 much i like the fact that it's not heavy and i like to combine it with my favorite body oil from avino oh my god it smells like heaven and i like that it's not heavy either at night, I get very, very hot. So I always try to go for the products that get the job done without doing too much. And these are definitely it. I'm gonna go eat dinner and head to bed. This is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.